So this sort of looks like a training video for <laughs> for cops. I'm actually a caretaker, okay? I'm actually a caretaker. I'm the caretaker. I'm the fucking caretaker. Oh, yeah. And you know what? You have a nice wardrobe. I mean, you're, what were you doing? You're just inspecting the underside of that fucking blanket. Y'all better start. Man, listen. I'm going to start shooting. I'll see your foot. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. I got a gun on you. So what? I do two. On two of you. He's got a gun on them. On two of them. So now this is what I'm saying. Cops going to the craziest. You're sh not supposed to be in here, man. Yes, <laughs> You're not supposed to be in here. I'm not. Okay, like they these, this like like these clothes. So somebody's decorating this apartment for him. Uh, Bruce River sees the criminal lawyer. Who is he? Bruce River sees the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce River sees the criminal lawyer. And what and it's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun filled episode of Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm your very own personal board certified criminal defense lawyer. Coming to you with our, you know, this is CLR, with Criminal Lawyer Reacts. We react to all kinds of stuff. And Michael Rivers, your content genius, is behind the camera as we speak. And I know if I make him laugh, we do a good job today. We are reacting to when squatters think they have the right to live anywhere they please. But before we get to that, guess what? This is brought to you by eSign.com. eSign.com is a very effective way to remotely do business. Let's say you have a uh, piece of property and you, you know, your grandma thinks she can just go anywhere she wants and she flops there because it's a trap house. Well, you got to get those people out of there. And so you have a lawyer draft up some documents like eviction papers, and then you e-sign them because it's just easier to e-sign them than to actually have to go to the office. You download the app, you get three free signatures a month, and before you know it, you've signed it. And now you've got a legal document to get these people, like my grandma, who likes to squat everywhere she goes, out of your place. Because e-sign.com, very effective way to remotely do business. I use it all the time in my practice for all kinds of different documents. It, you know, it's just quick and easy. E-sign. If it's not e-sign, no one signs. All right, before we get to this, I I want to just talk to the fans out there. And we, You know, we have so many subscribers, so many people that are just flipping awesome. And every once in a while, you know, you guys send me stuff, and I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So this woman, Janice, I won't give you her last name, she just sends me a note. Uh, she's, uh, she's from Seattle, Washington. She says, I wanted you to know how much I enjoy your podcast. I am nearing 80 years old, and you simply make my day with your interesting cases and knowledge thereof to impart to your viewers. Most, of, most importantly, you crack me up with your sense of humor. I always said if, I, if you can't laugh at rough situation, then you've truly lost it. I can relate because at times there are just no words, only laughter. So thank you for your insight to helping uh, many people and your encouragement by humor to watch your show. I look forward to uh, many more. Well, Janice, I, you know, I save these things, you know, and I save them because they're so nice. They're, it just, and I put them up, they're just reminders of why we do this. You know, we, we entertain and we um, and try to educate a little bit and it's father-son project and we like to have fun. All right, so that's Janice. And then Rita, Rita from Finland, I think Helsinki or somewhere over there, she sends me uh, a drawing, and I'll take a look at this. This is a drawing her son made, clearly off uh, just before I went on my uh, Alaska adventure. But isn't that the sweetest thing? So just so you know, when it, if you guys ever send anything, you know, I don't throw, I don't, oh, whatever, you know. I don't do that. I save everything, and, you know, I got some stuff that people have given me, and it's just a, it's just a, an expression of your appreciation, and let me just tell you, we appreciate you guys as well. Just so, so amazing. Just amazing. All right, so today, let's let's get to this, and this is, uh, the channel is the Blue Line Cam, so, um, so we're reacting to the Blue Line Cam footage, uh, so here we go. On March 12, 2023, officers received a call from the owner of an apartment complex. According to him, there are multiple drug addicts and squatters occupying his home and are refusing to leave. Now let's talk about that. Let's say you have a piece of rental property or your own property and there's somebody else in there. This is absolutely the right thing to do. Call the cops. Do not take matters into your own hand because... Let's say you go in there with a gun. Let's say you have a physical altercation, and all of a sudden the guy fucking dies. 
And, you know, and if it's a rental property, you don't have the same rights as in your own home. You know, it, it, things are just different depending upon the dwelling. You know, I mean, there is the castle doctrine, but better to use the cops to get somebody out than do it yourself. One of them even pulled a gun on the owner when confronted to vacate the building. You can come, Rango. That's that, yeah. It's at Salem Baptist. What is it? It's an assault, but it's a possible DB. Okay. What's up, dude? Hey, buddy. There was just somebody up here. I know in the back. I'm good, how are you? This is your, uh... Yeah, this, I got a gun license. Okay, you're fine. Yeah, I, I bought this property. See, if, you, if you didn't have a gun out here, bro... I, I know. Like... <laughs> if you didn't have a gun out here, what does that say about the high-class area that your rental property is in? So the cop is expecting to be carrying... Fucking tripping, right? The amount of people like, I don't carry a gun. I don't yeah. come out here with a gun. The dude pulled the gun out on me the other day. Yeah, I, I heard about that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, man, I bought this place. Ain't nobody never messed with it. Mm. I was fixing it up. You know, I've been taking my time trying to bring it back to life. Yeah. Working, coming when I can get some free time. Mm. And they, uh... They now, you know, think about that. You know, you know, if he's got a regular day job and then he's trying to rehab this on his own, that's a lot of work. Especially if it's a multi... Uh, family dwelling. <clears throat> Ain't nobody never mess with it. They get in some, then they, they, it was a lot of people in here, so I just was some people in the back. How long have you owned this spot? I've been owning this for three years. Really? Yeah, three years. Anyone ever lived here, like officially? Yeah. Um, no, no. Like they boarded it up on that side. Mm. Wow. From the inside? Yeah. Like the squatters? Yeah, that's my Definitely need some rehabbing for this place. And, you know, people who do drugs, people who, you know, you know, I, I came in, you know, I, I keep my car in a, in a parking ramp. You know, I have like a, a little car that I keep in there all year long. And so I'm not checking on that car every day. All of a sudden I come in and some guy's living in my fucking car. Live, I, I come in and I'm like, what the hell are you doing in my car? And it just stinks to high heaven and, and there's a, a meth pipe in there and it's like, fucking it, get the hell out of here. And then he hobbles, you know, on one leg basically. It's like, fuck. Hey, what do you plan on doing with this place long term? I was trying to, you see that? See that? Yeah, what are you trying to, like, get no, to? I was just saying, like, they had... Okay. Yeah, they probably got a nail to shut. Someone's got a nail to shut or something. Yeah, I got to go. So they, they've basically figured out how to lock it from the inside. And I, I don't know if they um, screwed it shut or whatever they did, but so that's, nobody can get in there. No, what I was planning on doing with it, you know, I bought it, was fixing it. I put a lot into this book here. Like, a lot. I, I've had it nice. Like, they came in here and stole it. My cabinets, mm -hmm. all of the stuff I was going to other apartment, you know, like. And, and if there's not a lot of activity at a place, you know, it's difficult to keep something nice because people will f eventually figure out there's nobody there, and then they squat, you know, or they or they steal the stuff that's in there. Now, if you go into a dwelling that you're not legally entitled to to go into, and you go in there with the intention to commit a crime, that essentially is what burglary is. I put a lot of money into this. Yeah. Put a new roof on it. I just was trying to wait till they fix the area, you know? Yeah. You gotta go first? Yeah. Right now, I'm tripping, I'm sorry. You're very good. Let's not be tripping. Hey, you going first because um, you have the guns. Take the police! Inside, make yourself known. What not of this stuff? Dayton Police! So this sort of looks like a training video for <laughs> for cops. All of a sudden you see somebody come around the corner either with a sandwich or a gun, and you can't tell which. So you have to decide whether you're going to blow them away or not.
one. You know, this this is a multi family dwelling, so it's really you know, unless you're doing this stuff full time, it's and he's had it for three years, it's too much work for one person. Hey, police! And think about it as a cop when you're going through this place. You don't, he's already been, a gun has already been pulled on him by somebody coming out of there once. So you don't know what you're going to find. And it's just, and it is, you know, a shitty place that he's rehabbing. Is this the front door, sir? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're good. Got it. Yeah, see what This is bolted shut. They talk a lot. They just have a lot. So this place is officially vacant, though, right? Yeah. It's got no one, like, paying to live here. No, no one will pay to live here. Take police! So, I mean, the units themselves actually, you know, looks like they don't look terrible. I mean, obviously the front and some of the other stuff that we saw, you know, looks pretty hagged out. But you can't just go into somebody's property that you don't have a right to and just squat there and try to acquire it by adverse possession. That's an old legal term that means if, if, it's, if, you, if you possess something and it's open and notorious... After about seven years, it becomes yours. Doesn't really happen like that. Did you put this stuff in here? I, I did, not all of this stuff. I came back. I'm going to show you how I had it. So you, is this your stuff or no? No. The furniture, that table, that was my stuff. Put all this other crap on here? Man, no. Like this clothes and shit? No, ain't no. Man, I had this place. This is, uh, like, just to let you know, like, I've been having this for a while. That might be living here. Yeah, I know. What? Think of that. He, he owns the place, and people are just taking advantage of his shit. When I came, when I came out of the day, that's when I found out that they've been all through my place. What about these like guitars and stuff? Man, I man, I came here. It was about twenty people in this building. Twenty people in this building. Twenty people just fucking moved into his place. Well. Perhaps you should probably pay a little more attention to your shit. I mean, if you own a building like that and you're not checking on it regularly or having a service do it or having some sort of security, what's going to happen? This is going to happen. I'm surprised that these tools, um, are these your tools? No, they're my tools. So if somebody working, it's a working guy living in here. But ain't nobody. You think it's a working man that's working there? I don't think so. It's, you know, what happens is they, they steal tools. You know, you go to, like, Home Depot or, you know, or they steal them from job sites or whatever, but they, they're high-ticket items, that, and then they go pawn. It's supposed to be in here. Like, this is, like, a bad dream for me. I put, I fix all of this up. Did you put this, No, like, I ain't put none like of that. Like that? That's what that's you what I'm saying. Somebody, that's what I'm like, like, okay, like, they these, like, a like these clothes. So somebody's decorating this apartment for him. Okay, I've seen that yeah. before, but but to but do they this, decorated it, you yeah. know, like the like. <laughs> Cause I love you, but the motherfucker living. I'm like, girl, they decorate this shit like. I nothing in here. Mm -hmm. Like this shit is like a nightmare for me. Like I put all my money into this place, bathroom. You know, like I fix all of this stuff up. Yeah. This so let's say um, he wanted to get whoever is doing this. You know, we had a case like this in Minnesota, not quite like this, but, um, and let's say he turned off all the lights, and let's say he just sat in one of the chairs and waited for them to come home, and then blew their ass away. That would be murder, premeditated murder. We had a situation in Minnesota a while back 
where this old guy, his house kept getting break in, broken into over and over and over again. And he knew kind of who it was, but he wasn't sure. So he parked his car down the street to make it look like he wasn't home. Then these two kids, you know, two kids hanged out on meth, um, break into his house, and he's waiting at the bottom of the stairs. He sees some legs coming down. Boom, boom. He shoots him, and he lands at the bottom. Boom, shoots him again. Then she comes in. Boom, boom. Same thing. And then, boom. And he called it a good finishing shot. That's 100% cold-blooded, first-degree murder. You can't do shit like that. And guess what he got? You know, he, well, aside from having a shitty lawyer, but he got he got murder one, and he got life without parole, and he paid him three hundred grand for whatever. This Wait, house, a bunch of female males. It was females. males. White man. The white man pulled the gun out. Uh, That's why he said he's calling y'all. Yo, yeah, he, he pulled. He pulled the so the better course is getting the cops involved because doing this on your own. Guess what? You're trading your life for theirs. Gun out, but you know they they like this stuff. Like for me, like that's so much trauma. Like I carry a gun. You know yeah. what I mean? He pulled. He like get the fuck off of this property. I said this is my property. Like yeah. the people next door know I own this. I, I worked on all of this. Do you know his name or anything? No, I got a picture of him. Think of that. You're going down your hallway of your place. And, and some guy's telling you to get out of your own property. He did fix this room up. I'm trying to find some ID or something. This one. What are you supposed to use that torch for? This one wasn't even just like this a couple days ago. They ain't had this on the wall, none of that. What about the, the shoes? The, sh the shoes was in here. There was some shoes in here. Did you put these bed shoes no, in No, I ain't had no beds in here. When I just came here the other day, it went, it went But no you didn't even put the bed I mean, think about it. They fucking moved in. You know, they got a TV. They got their bed. They got their torch, whatever the fuck they use that for. But they moved in. I, they, I, I, how does that even fucking happen? Hey, you know what? Step one, underwear, are high-performance underwear. Now, when you watch this video, the guy who is getting arrested and threatening the cops, notice he wasn't wearing step ones, okay? I guarantee you if the cops are wearing step ones, they wear them with the comfort and the confidence that, you, that comes with them. Guess what? It's made from a viscose uh, material, made from organic bamboo, so you don't sweat. It also has a, a lycra panel that makes it so you don't chafe. And it's got this package container that just holds you nice and tight. Well, you almost don't even know you're wearing them. They're super high performance, and guess what? Just for my audience only, if you guys order some of these, and I suggest you do, any amount of these right now, you get 25% off. At checkout, you put in Bruce Rivers, and you will get a discount code for 25% off. Now, it's a no-risk proposition to you because guess what? After 30 days, if you you know, within 30 days, if you don't like them, you can return them. But that isn't going to happen. So step one, get some. You didn't put the bed frame in No, there. it wasn't. So someone carried all this yes. heavy. Yes. And you, do you live, like, in Columbus? Like yeah. same yeah, I live in Columbus, Columbus. So I've been working, and I ain't been able to come down here. But, you know, I, I came down here to pay my taxes on... Um, on Thursday, and I came by to ride by, and I see people bringing bags, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. Huh. I guess when you do drugs, drugs you don't eat. This would just piss me off, because guess what? You Not only do you have to rehab the place, now you got to get rid of all their shit. You talk about a lot of work. But, and if a guy pulled a gun on you once, he's going to pull a gun on you again. The other thing that's a big deal here is if they find any drugs. So if there were cops were ever to come and it's his place and they find drugs, uh, would he have possession of it because it's his place? No, probably not. Because he's got to know they're there. And he has to have access. And he didn't have access to, you know, 
to the place while they're doing this. Look at all the random shit that they have, you know, are probably all stolen. Because guess what? If you are of the ilk where you're going to move into some place that you're going to steal basically rent, you, aren't you going to be doing that with, with the rest of your shit, probably? Oh my god, I can't get out that other door. That's what I said. I'm trying to get back from back here. I got to get a different yeah. axe off. I think they just bolt him up so nobody else can come in. Yeah, that's what I think too. But yeah. Is that your cousin? He's, he's nervous. Yeah, I remember. I don't know. I don't know. This is yeah, I don't know if I'm going to put this on you. Because. There's a fucking dog back here. I heard a dog barking. Where? Back here. I don't want you to go before me. Guess what? Cops are afraid of almost just as much as people. Just like the mailman, dogs. They And they don't really have any compunction about putting a fucking round of lead into your dog if your dog's going to pose a threat. Is it oh, your a dog? dog? I mean, it's a puppy. It's a puppy? Yeah, I can tell it's a puppy. I got dogs. Where's the fucking dog? Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Uh-oh, the music. You know something's going to happen. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey, man, there's a dog in here. Looks like they ordered some pizza, too. <laughs> Fuck. Come to the top apartment. Dang, police! Your side, make yourself known! And here we are, back to the training video. There's someone in here. Dang, police! You're inside, make yourself known! Okay. Alright, get your dog. Okay. Alright, so somebody's in the bed and they can't get up. Alright, alright. It's alright. Alright, it's okay, pup. Right. Call your dog. Call your dog. Take that dog and get control of that dog, or I'm gonna get rid of that dog. Alright, it's alright, you're not in trouble. It's You know, when it comes to poverty and drugs, people, you know, will do just about anything to avoid both, right? Poverty, people steal, and and just because you know people are poor doesn't mean that they're criminal necessarily. But it does. Poverty is a cause of a lot of criminal behavior. But drugs also is really can spur criminal behavior, the stealing, the violence, uh, and just the overall debilitating nature of drugs generally. Is there anyone else inside? So why can't she walk? You're not supposed to be in here, man. You're not supposed to be in here. I'm not. You know, I mean, how does she think that she has the right to be there? Yeah. Are you okay, ma'am? Yeah. All right. Are you sick? No. Why can't you walk? Okay. Well, she has spinal meningitis. That's why she said she can't walk. Okay. How many people stay here? Uh, <laughs> Are there other people in these other rooms? She doesn't know. I don't know. I'm asleep.
Just try and slip this around the neck. Okay. Hi, puppy. Oh, my God. It's okay. I should be all right. Hi, puppy. Good pup. Good girl. What's her name? Champagne. Champagne. Good girl, Champagne. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay, honey. Good girl. Have you been staying anywhere else? You know, I find it so amazing. Everybody is able to get a really nice TV, <laughs> even though they're living in a squatting condition. Where else besides here? Oh. How long have you staying here? Like, about a month. About a month? About a month. Who, who do you live with? My ex-girlfriend. Your ex-girlfriend? Hi, what's up? Hi, champagne. She, she, she's friendly. You'll go for a walk? You'll go for a walk? Mm -hmm. No, not that we found so far. So you've been staying there a month. And you, you're not paying any rent. You're not working. And you got a nice little dog there that... Who knows how much the dog's being fed or cared for. But you're probably comfortable, you know? And all of a sudden, guess what? You gotta fucking go, and where are you gonna go? This is what happens with homeless people, you know? So now all of a sudden, this person's gonna be homeless because the place that they were staying is no longer available. What's your name? How do you feel? Well, thank you. Uh, how do, who's been, who's, who took care of you last? Tessa. Tessa. When did that happen? When did she take care of you? Last night. Last night. I don't know if there's a way. Here, let me see. Dang, police! Yeah, she's trying to call back for it. See, cops have kind of a shitty job, you know, I mean, think about it, I mean, now you've got to go rouse these, you know, squatters out of this place, and you don't know what you're going to find. I don't have him unscrew that thing. I mean, we got to get her out of here somehow, though. There got to be somebody, because how would it be luck? Dane, please! That sounds like Scott. Yeah, I get Scotty. We gotta be so high with a good luck. Yeah. What were you guys on? I smell incense. <laughs> Now, I'm not necessarily a neat freak, but fuck. I, I, I mean, if, if you're going to squat, can't you squat neatly? I mean, Jesus Christ. Make your bed, you know, tidy up all your, your stolen shit, and just make sure things are just nice and neat. What's wrong with that? How do they even have a secure? Hey, man. Well, I was going to get in that front door. Under well, there. He's got a gun on them on two of them. So now this is what I'm saying. Cops go into the craziest shit. You know, they're not supposed to be there, and this guy's gonna defend himself with a fucking gun in front of these cops? How how stupid is that? I mean it's a zero sum game for this guy. I better get out of here. And, okay, let's just stop right there. He's trespassing, for sure, right? <laughs> of course. Burglary, probably, too. And now we have probably assault uh, with a deadly weapon against police officers. So he went from, you know, just being a poor little innocent person, hanging out, you know, doing drugs or whatever, to now he's fucking full on with the cops. That's major prison time. Get out of here, man. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I'm gonna get out of here. Here, pull it out. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. I'm not telling you my hands. Get out of here. Show me your hands. Do it now. Get out of here. Do it now. I'm gonna tell you five more times. I'm gonna start shooting. I'm gonna tell you five more times, and then I'm gonna start shooting. What do you do in that situation? You know, this is. 
there's a, a what they call a force continuum that the cops use. You know, how do you de-escalate a situation? You you use words, and you know, there's a whole force continuum up until deadly force. So everything from you know using your hands to using your voice, using your voice, using your hands, using your billy club, using non-lethal to lethal. So it's a whole gradation of force. And this guy went from fucking words to use a deadly force like that. And it's not a position cops love to be in. Some cops, I mean, they are total dickheads. But generally speaking, cops do not like to be in a position where they got to use deadly force. Taking somebody else's life, no matter whether you're a cop or not, is a heavy, heavy handed thing. And it fucks with your brain. So there's two, there's two things at play here. Number one, the cops, you know, want to make sure that he doesn't take his own life because they want to protect him. But they also want to make sure that fucker doesn't take their lives either. He's under the bed. He's under the bed. I can't see him. I'll see you right there. I'm almost No! To what end is this kind of shit? Honestly. Y'all better start. Man, listen. I'm gonna I'm start soon. I'll see your foot. Excuse me. No. Go. I'm gonna tell you one more time. Shoot your hands, take police. I'm gonna tell you one more time, and I'm coming up over here. Fuck that fuck. Yes. Oh, I can't see shit. I'm gonna go. Five, four, three, two. I'm gonna tell you one more time. Jeff, 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 Let's just say for the sake, and I haven't seen this, so I don't know how this ends. So you and I are kind of watching this together, right? <laughs> but let's say he doesn't have a gun. What crime? Is there a crime? Yes, there is. It's terroristic threats or threats of violence. And you do it against a cop, that's even worse. Can you tell me get under the bed? He's under the bed. And what, and what an awkward situation to be in. They can't see him. They can't see his fucking hands. Is he going to fire up through the mattress? Because a bullet would go right through that and could go right in. And hopefully they're wearing vests. But, but what, a, what a really messed up situation for these guys. We need to take someone. <laughs> You know that sound? <laughs> That's the sound of muscle seizing up. You stupid motherfucker! Get calm down! Get out of here now! Put your hands behind your back! Don't do it! Now, a lot of times I'm on the side of the person getting arrested because sometimes cops can get heavy-handed. But guess what? This fucker deserves everything he's getting. You know, I mean, he's under the bed. He's threatening the cops with a gun. Um, and they're trying to get him to just come out and because he doesn't belong there. I've never seen anybody so wrong in, their, in my life. Watch out again! Do not tuck that hand down. Do not tuck that hand down. Hand behind your back now. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. 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 You know, something bad, bad, bad is happening. Did he did he say he didn't have a gun? There's no gun. The fucker didn't even have a gun. <laughs> what a dumb shit. I am going to shoot you or I'm gonna shoot myself. I really what the fuck? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? All for what? Because you're, I mean, and, and especially if you think about what the cops knew before they went in there, some guy pulled a gun on the property owner before that. So they're already, the, their dander is up that there may be a, a firearm. And now he doesn't have a weapon, but he threatened them with a weapon? <laughs> Fuck. Put your hands behind your back! Don't say that shit! Put, put your, your hands, hands behind your back! back. He's put his hands behind his back. It's on, they're on his head. Put them, yep, help them, put them right there, please. 
Sort of a little, kind of tough to move around with a bed frame on you and another 200 pound officer just sitting on top of you. <laughs> well, let's just say I probably won't be hiring this guy anytime soon as an associate here at the Rivers Law Firm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on right now. Okay. You dropped in 99. Yep. Well, now we are. So we get him secure. Okay. I took a ride on that probe, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming. All right. Three points, three points. Three points. Yeah, one, yeah, one. 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 Yeah, That's just disgusting. I mean, how could people live, but you know, people do live like that, you know, and, and that's mild compared to some shitty situations. When I was driving an ambulance back in the day, I, you know, we'd see all kinds of squalor that people lived in, and it's just sad. Yeah, that's Maddox, please. All right. Chris, if you want to pick this up, go right off of him. Hey, uh, what's up, Matt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, my stuff's uh... If you don't have a gun, the worst thing you can do is threaten somebody with a gun. Yeah, all good. Yeah, well, watch it. I got you. you okay, Jess? Yeah. All right. Crawl this way. Crawl this way. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Okay. 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 And he's a little fella <laughs> with a big mouth. <laughs> oh. Oh he's lucky to be alive right now. Oh yeah. He's absolutely right in that statement. He's lucky to be fucking alive. Jesus Christ, I got a gun. Really? Well so do we. I mean I I you know the inability for people to see the end game on some of these things just astounds me. But if it weren't for that lack of insight, I wouldn't have a job. Are you good? I'm good, yeah. Mm. Does he need anything? Are you okay? He's got all kinds of injuries, so we'll check you downstairs. Okay. He can be checked out downstairs. But I'm still taking quick for a gun bucket. Well, what said you did? Sort the legs. Ooh, man. Yeah, you, yeah, you do. He said you got a gun, you're gonna start shooting at us. You yeah. absolutely do. Check his right pocket. Check me. That's what we're doing. I'm not what I'm saying. You already checked me. There's a gun over here. I don't know if it's fake or not behind this. You know, I do like the um, Christmas lights, though. That's a nice touch. I think it's a BB gun. What do you guys need? Nothing right now. Um, Hang on, let me tighten this. Did you see the lady in there? Yeah. yeah. She can't walk. She's not supposed to be here. I don't even know if we have this whole building clear. Yeah. We don't yet. So please, <laughs> I don't know. He's got some buzz on him. Pipe in there. And the way they had themselves barricaded in there, they knew they weren't supposed to be there, and they were prepared for conflict. So that lady is not supposed to be here. Yeah. No one's supposed to be no here. No one's supposed to be here. Besides the owner who's got that hoodie on, who's reds. Him and his cousin. He's a large black to... male. The two black males. But that lady, she's not supposed to be here. Always. No one's supposed to be here. Okay. Um, yeah, I already used my back, too. Can I get my sandals right there? No, no, no not walk, the walk, way walk. you act with officers. I can't get my sandals. <laughs> and so the next thing you do is you search this place because I guarantee you they're going to find drugs. Or you would think they would, anyway. And do they need a, a warrant? No, they don't, because it's not their place. They, these people do not have a reasonable expectation of privacy in anything. So the owner has already given them permission to go through the place to clear this place out. So they have absolute right to search everything. And if they find any drugs, you know, then they're on the hook. Hey, Cronky, watch him come through. But what a stressful time for those cops. 
Because they don't know exactly what the fuck's going to happen. They don't know if some lead's going to be flying their way or not. And, you know, they handled it the best they could. And I think that they took this guy into custody. He's fine. They're fine. Thank God. Needles everywhere. Show me your fucking hands right now! Right now! I guess there was somebody hiding in the closet. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know, you just can't make this shit up. And it, and, but this is drugs. You know, people, they just, anything for the drugs. I'm actually caretaker, okay? I'm actually caretaker. I'm the caretaker. I'm the fucking caretaker. Oh, yeah. And you know what? You have a nice wardrobe. I mean, you're, what were you doing? You're just inspecting the underside of that fucking blanket. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm the fucking caretaker. <laughs> I'm not doing nothing. I'm just scared. Care, I am taking. Well, most caretakers generally are scared, you know, like this. And they usually hide in a closet under a blanket. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Oh, damn it. That's why I'm here. I'm not doing nothing. I'm no, just you're scared. doing fucking drugs. No, I'm not doing drugs. Yeah, right. I'm not doing drugs, I swear to God. No, I just left my supermodel job. And, uh, you know, I just was coming by to pick up a few things. I'm clean. I'm recovering. <laughs> so you're staying in an opium den? No. So you're saying I have a chance. <laughs> this is what you call a catch. No, it's not. The guy next door was paying. Said he was working it off. Let me work it off for rent. <laughs> How do you suppose you're going to work it off for rent? What are you going to do working it off? Typically, um, it's probably not the kind of work you're thinking of. Sorry. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm not trying to fight. I'm not resisting. But you're hiding. Get up! Get up! I'm scared of the guy. And think about the cop's frame of reference at this point. They just had a guy threaten him with a gun that didn't exist, and the, and and it was just a really tense situation. All of a sudden, some fucker is in the closet, is is hiding underneath the caretaker, evidently. <laughs> and and how do we know she doesn't have a gun? I mean, it scares the shit out of these cops. And you're staying with him. You're going down the stairs. Well, We're all scared. I haven't even looked over here yet. Please. Okay. Please, nothing. Get in the car. Okay. Ashley, please tell them. I'm not telling anybody anything. Walk outside. I'm going to hear you. 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 Do you think it was a good idea for this guy to call the cops and have them handle this? <laughs> We're going to the car. We're not doing you any favors. We're going to the car. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. 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 Now, if you were worried about um, a place to sleep and something to eat, well, you won't have to worry about that because now the county will provide that for you. And yeah, but she's pressing. Okay. Yeah. Like he said, I'm not trying to resist, I'm not trying to cause any problems. I really am actually a caretaker. I'm just scared. Did she just say she was the caretaker? Yeah, I understand you're scared, but you understand how scared we are? Yeah, there's, there's, this man owns this place, and we're on the street. He asked you to leave the other day, and you came back. 
And he's a liar. <laughs> and no, that's not out, that's not I even was, a story because you're already instructed here, to leave. I was out here the other day when someone pointed a gun at me. So let's say the guy under the under the bed said, I, you know, I own this place and you're going to be the caretaker and, you know, and so now she thinks she's the fucking caretaker. Does that seem reasonable? No, it probably doesn't. And sometimes even if you were told something and you could rely on the fact that you were told it, but it really was not believable, it's not a defense. Yes, yes we have. It's clear. Do you keep anything in your bra, money, phone, cards, anything like that? We don't, we don't know. You obviously weren't taking very good care of her. Um, yeah, I was trying to get us out of here. I realized we didn't have nowhere, didn't have nowhere to go. Her mom was here. There's a homeless shelter. All three suspects were arrested and brought to the station to be processed. The homeowner remained unharmed and was able to take back full control of his home. What 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 a dramatic, you know, when I, we started this video, I looked at Michael and I said, you know, a property dispute seems kind of boring. But it really was not boring, was it? I mean, it was interesting. Um, but thank God he did that because that is the way you handle things. You don't take the matters into your own hands. You don't go to your neighbor's house and beat the shit out of him because he, he got some grass on on your lawn, I mean, and from his yard to your yard. You don't uh, settle disputes like that. And the reason you don't is because you could, I mean, he could wind up shooting one of these guys. So let's say that, let's say he went in there and the other guy said, oh, I got a gun, I got, and he shoots him. Well, guess what? That's a, and he kills him. And even if he didn't have a gun, now he's got to explain himself. And he's going to explain himself to a fucking jury. Thankfully, it ended the way it did, with no loss of life and nobody really injured. You know, but this this just goes to show you the, the effect of drugs. You know, people call drugs a victimless crime. It really isn't. I mean, whether it's people dying of an overdose, whether it's the uh, drug trade itself that's inherently dangerous because of guns and violence, or whether it's, uh, you know, bystanders, like in this case, the property owner, you know, affected by these people just moving into his fucking place. I still can't believe that they were so brazen to put up TVs and bring in furniture. It's like, oh, let's just move in. So this has been our reaction to uh, when uh, squatters think they can live wherever the fuck they want. And... Uh, you know, we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, sign up for Patreon, and we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. I'm part of Bruce Rivers is broke, got your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please, is that my goal?